stupid. Right, there we go. Whoop. Fuck. Okay. Oh, there we go. What is wrong with that audio? That's so strange. Hang on. Okay. Damn it, I've done it again. Fuck. Oh, lean down there. Alright, give that a good clean. There we go. I keep bashing the bloody... There's like a knob on the side of my head. I don't know if you can see it. But it keeps saying like... Can you see it? It says like 60 whatever. It's the, it's the, it's the focal length between your eyes. And I keep bumping it. It's most frustrating. I wish there was a way to just lock it in place. Right! There we go. Pull that from the ground. Right. Okay. Right, where was I? Hi, chat. Hello again. Um, so, um, what was I saying a minute ago? I was saying, yes, yeah, so I went fishing off with my brother, and it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, and then I got back and unpacked the fishing gear and just kind of, like, stowed it somewhere over there. I just sort of slung it um, in the bedroom over there. And, um, yeah, so today... What's happening today? So I need to keep working on a video essay thing that I'm trying to do for the YouTube channel. So what I was doing last night is I was recording audio. So same thing that, that I've been doing pretty much every night uh, so far. Um, recording audio, whoops, which I need to cut. So I need to cut it through <clears throat> and um, that's going to be the plan this afternoon. So just going through and, and cutting audio is basically it. Right, hang on a minute. Let's get straight into it. But yeah, I hope everyone's okay today. Um, yeah, really not much happening. Just saw my mum. Dog got some attention. I didn't catch any fish yesterday. Tell you what I did do, though. I managed to... Um, what the fuck? Oh, hi there, Chinny. What's wrong? Can you see everything clearly? Did I leave the cursor on the screen? No, no, it's fine. Um, tell you what I did do at the fishing lake. I managed to befriend the uh, the ratting dog. They had this uh, this Jack Russell dog, and it was really... I guess it was, like, starved for attention, because it just kept coming back up to me, and I kept, um... I kept giving it butt rubs. I kept giving it, uh... Yeah, like, butt rubs and, and attention, and it was like, oh my god, it's this person. And, um, yeah, it was really sweet. It kept bringing me, like, sticks and logs and stuff for me to throw. <laughs> it was very cute. Right. Hang on. Okay, so... Right. Let's get in there then. So... Let's do some blade and sorcery. What... Uh, did he see me? Let me know if it's too quiet or too loud. Two guys going there and there. Are they patrolling? Spotted. Right, start with the spear. Only this guy heard me. No, he heard me too. Whoop. Careful. <sighs> Is he gonna get stuck? Probably. Does this go through leather? Oh, maybe not. Is he stuck on the terrain? Probably. Grab him by the neck, give him a lift. <laughs> Almost. And we got him. Right. Is that my dagger? Probably. Grab that, put that there. All right. One second. No, the meteor doesn't do it. Oh wow, it actually falls. Oh, 
Right. Oh, only heated up one of them. Oh well. Get into the open area. Shock the blade. So simply touching it. Oh, wait, she's dropped her weapon? I think she has. Which means she can't block this. She's still alive? Evidently. Wow, holy shit. Grabbing a weapon. That's the one that I stabbed into her. Okay. Oof! I'll have that back. No, it's a different weapon. I'll take this. Right. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a nice day today. Over here, things are fine. Just going to crack on with the editing. Just a quick bit of this. Can he get down? He can. But can he get up? He can. Ouch. Come on, then. Quick. Gravity. Oh, almost. Oops. Did I grab it? Where'd it go? Ah. Hang on. Which of the powers is my favourite, Entico? Um, I'm rather a fan of the lightning now. Now that you can do what you can do with the shaman whip, it's very cool. But the, abi the ability to get around like this with the gravity power is also awesome. There's so much to choose. Oh, never mind. I got the swords. Let me show you some of the new abilities. Okay. So by pressing my thumb on the top of the controller, I can now... Whoop. Whoops. Not that. I can now make a sort of lightning whip, which lets me decapitate people. It's incredibly fun. Whoops. Didn't press the jump button at the same time. There we go. I just need a volunteer with both gravity spells at the same time. Right. Wrong weapon. Whoop. Missed. I can do this. Come on, gotta hit the head though. <laughs> or even the legs. It is very, very, very cool. Isn't it? Don't you think it's cool? She thinks it's cool. She's in awe. That's why she's quiet. Also, she's dead. That's another reason. Mm -hmm. 
Damn it, my magic got low. Fuck. Should have picked a better weapon than this. He's still alive? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> uh, oh. Fuck. Whoa, that looks painful. Shh. I'm going to need that back, my dear. An idea. Can I actually hang on? <laughs> He's very accommodating. Ah, oh, it doesn't go through the clay? Ah. Oh. Maybe a basket. Really? Hmm. He's gotten stuck, hasn't he? They've both gotten stuck. This room is too small to properly fight. There we go. Ah, oh, there's another one. He's wearing full armor, so getting through that is going to be tricky. He's stuck as well. Hang on. Heat up the blade, through the shield, through his armor. Back out into this area here. Let's go over here. Whoops. Can you play gold with a gold with a mallet and decapitated head? You mean golf, sorry. Yeah, probably. Yeah, the AI isn't much to phone home about, I'm afraid. Come on, you gonna attack me or not? <laughs> Evidently not. Woo! Oh. Right. No? What have I got here? Just wrong hand. There we go. Right. Let the man dance, says Corruptio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, over here everything's fine. Wait, she's still alive? Didn't I throw you from the chandelier? Or is that someone else? You're wounded, so... Fireballs are so tricky. Just gonna straight line your hand like that. This game with non index controllers is a pain in the ass. Is it really, Pender? I've not tried it, I'm afraid. Wait, have I tried it? I can't remember. No, I must have done. I must have done it before I bought the index. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, yesterday, popped out fishing, made friends with the local ratting dog. <laughs> what am I doing? I, I can't pierce her armor. I can only use magic to get through that. So I will. Your armor, however, is nowhere near. That's tough. I 
Okay. That's true, yeah. I was using the Vive a long time ago, Reaper, wasn't I? Yeah. So yeah, so I went fishing. It was really frustrating as well, because the day before yesterday, I actually popped down to a, a tackle shop in Brighton. And I don't normally go there because I got like a really surly, like the last time I was there, the guy, the owner, I presume, was just really, like he wouldn't give you the time of day. It was really uncomfortable. So I thought, fuck it, I'm just going to buy online. But I went back and the guy was really friendly, so I'm considering going back again. But the reason I'm saying that is because I went and bought some maggots. I bought like two pints worth of maggots. So live bait? Which I thought, you know, that that's going to get the fish feeding. Stuff that's wiggling on the hook. No. Absolutely bugger all. And I think the reason for that is that um, when I got to the lake, when I, when I first arrived, there were about... Is that a set piece? I think so. There were about seven people already there in their tents. Uh, and I presume they were there fishing overnight, which meant that I reckon what they've done is that they managed to get most of the fish in their area of the lake by something called spotting, which is where you you cast ground bait, so like food, into the water around the area that where your hook is. So I reckon we didn't have any fish. I reckon there just weren't any fish in our area. My brother was using bait that I was sure was going to work, but nothing. He didn't. He didn't even get any bites. It was crazy. So yeah, no fish at all. Sorry, yeah, this is a set piece, isn't it? If I get spotted, then an alarm goes off and I get rushed. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I'm never going to get them though, am I? Because look. No, he's going to see me. He's going to see me. Shit, got spotted. Fuck. Right, grab him. <laughs> really? I missed? Didn't miss that time. Whoop. Fuck. Right. The alarm didn't go off. The horn? Probably will in a second. Quick, she's got leather armor. Damn it. Fuck. There's a well. Well, well, well. No, not her. Him. He's got the armor. Whoop. Grab him by the head, fling him into the ocean. Works for me. There's the alarm. Quick, grab it. Oh, didn't, not like that. She's stuck. Let's get her. Jump. Right. That's a lot of armor she's wearing. You survived a stab wound to the back of your neck? Jesus Christ. That's an archer. Careful. Crap. Not getting through that. Let's use magic. Jump. Lightning. Okay. Heads up. Shit, what's she using? That's a mage. What have you got? Nothing. Fuck. Right. Where'd it go? Whoop! Didn't mean to do that. Oh! 
<laughs> oh, damn it. Nice shot. God damn, didn't anticipate him. Target fixation. I forgot about the archer. Nice shot. Well, bugger. 19 kills that time. Ah, oh, fuck. Again, that was fun. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway, sorry. Um, so, yeah, went fishing. Didn't catch anything. Made friends with the ratting dog that was there. His name was Elmut, and he was very, very cuddly. Although I think the dog was really attention-starved, because he didn't seem to have any toys. He was playing with sticks, and three times he knocked his stick that he found in the lake with the fish, and I fished it out with the fishing net. And I think I made best friends with him as a result. He was like, ooh, friendly person. Hmm. Ah, oh dear. <laughs> Medieval combat, but everyone is drunk. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, wait, I'm down here now. Cool. One second, sorry. My controller is vibrating. Please stop vibrating. What's it doing that then? It appears it appears to be stuck vibrating. My my right hand. If I cast magic on and off, does it stop? No, how strange. Let me just turn it off and on again. One minute. Uh There we go, turned it off, it stopped vibrating. Turned it on. There we go. Okay, stop vibrating, there we go. Sweet. <sighs> right. Can you charge the staff with lightning and then throw it like a harpoon? Good question. Like this? Sort of. Doesn't really fly like a harpoon, does it? Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Oh wait, has it gone invisible on me? No, it's fine. Let's go this way. I keep climbing, climbing the rope. Never going this way. I presume this leads to the caves. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, refreshing. Use the gravity spell. We don't necessarily have to do this bit, I assume, but we may as well. There's people to murder. One second. Ah, dear me. But yeah. Uh, his right hand, his dominant hand is vibrating. Yeah, yeah. Whoop. Hello. Who's over here then? What have I got? I presume there's somebody indoors over there. What do you reckon, chat? Do you think I can get it? Piss. Really? The decapitations are really not very elegant, are they? Really hard to pull off. Hang on. Because you've got to spin the blade, like, so damn hard. <sighs> Fuck it. I don't care about the spear that much. of an incompetent uh, assassin here, but I get the job done. You get- what the fuck on earth thing hit- what the- Right. Ignore that.
kind of mesmerizing. Just, uh, just VR things, I guess. Hi, there's a perpetual motion machine in there. Aren't you interested? Ooh, nice block! Did you see that? <laughs> really? Oh, weird. Where's my dagger? Pardon me. There it is. Let's go this way. Right. What's wrong with the texture on that? Weird. You will regret. Hi! Whoa. He heard me. He saw me. That's a lot of armor you're wearing, sir. God damn, he does not care, does he? Oh, shit. Come on. I'm not here. Oh, pardon me. Once again, can I have your hand, please? Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Lift me up. Lift me up, you fuckwit. Give me your hand. What the? You bastard. Give me your hand. Give me your leg. Give me something. Come here. Come here. Stop me. You're making this really awkward now. Come here. Hang on. Fuck me. Fuck. Come on, up. Come on, work with me here. Oh, fuck. Uh, no, it's not having it. 
Nah, fuck. Hang on. I think I'm stuck. Hang on. There we go. Up and then jump. My foot's stuck. I can't seem to get up. Hang on. Right now, jump. Jump. There we go. What a bastard. Right. Uh, not yet, uh, Fukuski. Not yet. Is that the sequel to Boneworks? Is that what it's called? Okay. Whoops. Give me your leg. That doesn't sound, doesn't sound dirty at all. What? That's dirty? Yes, he did. Hang on, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck! Grab a neck, grab a neck! Fuck. Oh, oh no, don't crash! Oh no, bugger! Ah, oh, it sucks. Oh, I was getting really into it as well. Damn. Yeah, this one seems more crashy than it used to be. Anyone else feeling that? Hang on. That's like the third time in a row that it's crashed. Most frustrating. Ugh. Right. Sorry, very briefly. Um, thank you for subbing. Um, Senkiz IO, uh, Turbo Foul Plez, Vulcan, Snoke is a Pansy, Chugas, E Cosit Three, and Plan Sweeby and Crumbler and Very Honorbra and Nuclear Kiwi. Thank you all of you. Thank you for your kindness, folks. Thank you. Uh, sorry for missing you before. One second. Let me just relaunch the game. Ah, oh, it's a shame. So yeah, for the people just passing through then, um, yeah, today I'm only playing for a little bit because I've got to go get on with editing for the latest YouTube project, which takes the form of a video essay. Uh, the video essay is quite chonky, so I don't know if I can commit all of the time in one sitting to complete it. Um, I will commit, I do want to provide at least something for the patrons and the Twitch subs because uh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to jank their chain too much because um, they've been very patient with me already. So what I'm trying to do is I've got a video essay script that I've written over the last three weeks uh, concerning a survival game called The Forest, which was released in 2014. The script is basically about how weird The Forest is and how many of the design decisions that the developers made are just so profoundly strange. And I just want to talk about them both from a customer perspective and from a quality assurance perspective, as in software development perspective. One second, sorry. And I'm hoping by the end of my um, analysis, I suppose, thing, I don't know what it is, to be honest, critique, you'll be like, what? As well. Hang on. There we go. So I'm just going get, to get back into it quick. Um... So yes, so it's about 30,000 words long, which is way longer than I was expecting it to be. The structure of it is very much like, um, the best way I can describe it would be, imagine me reading you through a book. So I'm walking through the plot points of a book, and then at the very end of it, I sort of circle back, I sort of do a U-turn, how to describe it. So I'm doing a sort of... Um, presupposition, so talking about survival games and how their stories seem to work, like in finger quotes, and then I'm reading through the story, and then I'm reaching the end and sort of talking about its themes, or like, what I think it's doing, what I think it's trying to communicate, effectively as a work of art. That sounds a bit, you know, bullshit, you'll see what I mean, it sounds a bit flowery and stupid, but, um, like, I get to the end and I, I sort of talk about it, analyse it a little bit and what I think they're trying to do insofar as storytelling. And then I U-turn, and I quickly walk back through the plot points and hopefully show you um, why my brain kind of melted a little bit, and then I just do a conclusion. The reason, I, the reason I'm explaining that is, um, as you can probably tell, it, that sounds quite hard to break apart. So I can't really, whoopsie. I can't really deliver, like, part one, part two, part three. I don't think it will work like that. Because by the time I get to part five, you'll have forgotten what's in part one. Um, so... Uh, let's go straight in. Hmm. 
So I'm working on, so there are about 21 segments of various different sizes. Uh, so some of them are like 700 words, some of them are 3,000 words. And I'm on segment six. I'm trying to polish off segment six today. I recorded segment six and, and part of segment seven uh, last night before I went to bed. So tonight I'll record segment eight, hopefully segment nine. And um, yeah. This is purely from the analysis of the narrative, or do I bring to the specific game elements of the typical survival game, The Forest? So, at the very beginning, Daddy, I start talking about the typical survival elements of it, but more specifically, what I'm trying to do is talk about a game that has retroactively added a plot to a genre that isn't necessarily defined by its lack of plot, but was certainly put on the map um, on the assumption that you can kind of explore, you know, the open world survival. Go in any direction you want. Sure, you can be led in certain specific directions for things that are set setting related, but generally these games don't have you beginning, middle and end of a story. So I was wondering what it would what it would look like if a game did try to do beginning, middle and end to a story. What sort of pitfalls would they encounter? Uh, what sort of hurdles might they have to overcome given the genre? And how did they do it in interesting ways? And I start off talking about Subnautica, which I think did it in some very interesting ways. Subnautica wasn't perfect, but I think it did a pretty good job of letting you explore. Is she moving? Oh wait, can you see the screen? Sorry, did I undo the overlay? Can you guys see me? Uh, sorry, can you guys see me? I think you can, yeah? Okay, I'm just going to keep playing assuming you can see me, sorry. Um, what was I saying? Sorry. Anyway, so um, bear with me. So I, I just want to talk about story in open world games, I suppose. And that's really where I started, and then I kind of tripped over and fell into the rabbit hole that was the forest. Ooh. Hmm. Five stars for the landing. Not so sure about the uh, flight, though. Okay. You can't see the chat in my hand. Oh yeah, yeah that, that's normal, Fokuski. But you can see the you can see the image. Cool. Cool. Thank you, Timbuk Two. Uh, sorry, Timbuk Timbuk Turnip. Where's the lady gone? She's probably stuck. For some reason, that piece of terrain sticks people. Speaking of sticking people. Yeah, they get stuck on these, don't they? Oh, you missed! Really? That didn't work. Come on. Oh, slow down time. Sweep the leg. That doesn't work. Really? Wow, she does not want to go down. Should be able to go through the spear, through the shield, demon. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Missed. Ooh, is that a dagger? No, it's a sword. Right. <sighs> the forest falls into the same pitfalls as Fallout 4. On uh, one side, open world. On the other, a child abducted, ad abducted as you as the parent want to get it back. Hmm. Good point. You know what? I, I, uh, Callus, I don't actually, I haven't actually played enough of Fallout 4 to make anything, to make any sort of coherent point on it. Because I didn't like Fallout 4. I thought it was rather rubbish. Not that what I want to do in this essay is, strictly speaking, compare lots of different survival games. My talk about Subnautica is more... Oh wow! I didn't know that! You can light the torches! <laughs> Neat! Sorry, what was I saying? Um, so yes, I was more using the Subnautica point as a jumping off point, and then I tripped and fell into another, like, unexpected point, which is, oh my god, the forest is fucking weird. Yeah, sorry, that's what the video essay will be called. Oh my god, the forest is fucking weird. Pardon me. Really? 
Does that hurt you? Woo, where did that go? Back, back you demons. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> now kiss. Missed. God damn it. Holy shit, she does not give a fuck. All I'm doing is charging up her weapon. What the fuck? Out of mana. Hang on, I want to do the big one. And... <laughs> oh, it's still so much fun. That's one of the coolest new magic moves. You get to fire a laser. Okay. I think there might be an intruder. We must keep our eyes peeled. I have no idea where is my dagger. I have no idea where he may be. But he's probably somewhere close. What? You should don't do that. Whoop. Pretty sure we have an intruder. I have no idea where he is. I think he's up there. Go find him. That was rubbish. Gimme. You lot you did that kill you? You landed slightly on your head. I think she's faking it. No, she's not faking it. Right. Shocking. Very shocking. Did you set the table? That was terrible. On guard. I have one hand behind. I have one hand behind my bed. Uh, my bed behind my back. Woo! Nice dodge. Woo! On guard. Hang on. She does not give a shit. <clears throat> Are you okay? Shh. I don't wish to alarm you, but this place appears to be haunted. <laughs> Hang on. Can I?
can I actually... No. Maybe it's because she's wearing a helmet. Oh! Oh no! Shit, now hang on. I hit the painting on my wall. Bear with me. Uh. Hang on, sorry. Painting. Important painting. I best put that somewhere safe. Hold on a second. There we go. I'm just going to pop that down there, out of the way. That painting was made by my nan. She's passed away now, unfortunately. Right. Rest in peace, nan. One second. I'm just going to have a quick drink. Right. Yeah, my nan got into painting. It was her hobby when she got older. She had huge stacks of them. And me and my brothers and my cousins, we all, we all got to pick one. Uh, so I've got that one on my wall, which is a, like a, a bunch of ships in a, in a port. And uh, then I've got another one in my um, bedroom, which is meant to be like a... It's meant to be like sunset through the trees, but in, it looks more like the Eye of Sauron. Good old Nan. Two of them. Oh, nearly! Damn. Could have nearly got them in one stroke. Dis disarm, disarm, disarm. Take out the sword. Take out the sword. How can I... Di there we go. Disarmed. She's still alive? What the fuck? Holy shit. Ah. Is this a set piece? No, it's just another one of these rooms. Are they patrolling? He's patrolling. Has he gone upstairs? No, there he is. Quickly. You Fuck. Here she comes. Damn it. Wish it was an easy way to like block them. Oh, maybe it is a set piece. Oh. She's backing out. Sword over there for you. Oh, could watch out for him. Kill him, kill him, her even. Ooh! Give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Stop! I'll take that. Thank you. Hang on. What's this here then? Get rid of that for a second. Put the quiver on there. Ah. Bow and arrow. Thank you. Ooh, she's got armor. Oh, which means I'm gonna have to get a bit fancy. One second. Fuck. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No. Ah, there we go. So for some reason, I can't use magic. What's going on there? Hmm. I can't seem to cast magic. Why not? Pardon me. Don't know why. Normally I can. Oh, I'm stupid. Wrong hand. 
There we go, that's what I meant to do. Right. Have I tried other VR shooters other than Pavlov? Uh, Darthen, I've, uh, sorry. Uh, Dartanoff. I've tried Onward and I've tried, is it Gun Club VR? I think those are, are there any others? I think those are the three. How many arrows do I have? 40? 40. Right. A little bit, a little bit injured. Ooh, deflected. Not so much that time, eh? What am I doing? Getting the bow stuck. Whoop! Hello. Oh, shit the bed. What's going on? I'm getting it stuck on the doorway. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get killed here. Damn it. Goddamn helmet. There we go. Right. How's my health? Pretty low, I think. Hang on. Yeah, get rid of that. Drop that. Have a potion for a second. Right. Cork. Stuff. Can't waste that. Fuck. Fuck. What the fuck? What the fuck? There we go. Hit, hit the weapon? She's disarmed. Ah, fuck. Uh. <laughs> uh. Right. Health is okay, but I gotta watch out. Did they sound the alarm? What do you reckon? Do you think we're gonna hear that? Ooh. Fuck. How many arrows do I got? Twelve? Do I have even? She probably set off the alarm. If I lived in the Middle Ages, what type of job would I want? Oh god. I have no idea. It's something simple where I won't get drafted to fight for some asshole baron. To serve as levy infantry, or if I have to serve as levy infantry. Give me a goddamn bill hook. Give me a bill hook. Fuck. And for Christ's sake, don't make me an archer. Actually, no, fuck that. If I was in the medieval setting, for Christ's sake, be a noble. Whatever you do, don't be a peasant. Your life is full of tedium and ritual and training, 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 but when push comes to shove, in that fight, you're not a footman. You're on a horse. And if you're on a horse, you have the medieval equivalent of, well, the state-of-the-art weapon. You're not thrown away. And when sh shit goes south, you can ride away quickly. Yeah, you want a horse. You really, really want a horse. Come on, up. Don't. Grab her by the neck. 
Pardon me. Oh, I got that hurt. Hang on. Duck. Oh, am I okay? How on earth do I get you? Fuck, give me, give me, give me. Fuck, that was his bow. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Too many of them. I'm gonna get it killed if I'm not careful. Whoop. Make a gravity field. Try and even the odds over here. There we go. That should render their arrows useless for a second. They'll fly, but then they'll just hit the gravity field and just float. Good odds for me. Oh! Come on, grab him. Right. Watch out for her. Fuck. Missed. Quickly. Fuck, you're gonna be a problem. Didn't work. Fuck, watch out for her. Oh, bugger. Oh shit. I just smashed my table. Don't think I hit anything though. What did I smash off? My calculator. <laughs> Gotta be more careful. Okay. Whoop. Gotta get in there. Should switch over to lightning, I think. How's my health? Okay. Whoop. She's empowered, so I should be able to just grab her and throw her, is that true? No, not enough strength with one hand. Okay. Right. Whoop. Careful. Wait, was I able to sweep the leg easier with this weapon? I'll test that again. Maybe. I'll give that a go. Come on. Stuck in the ground. Let me try, hang on. Sweep the leg. No, maybe not. Too many archers. Okay, switch over to uh, this. Lightning charge it. Right. Whoops. Insufficient charge, because I didn't hold it down for long enough. Quickly, don't get killed by her. Jump. And... Jump. Any more? Come on. Where are you going? I'm okay. Not too badly hurt. There we go. How's my desk? Desk is fine. I just smashed a calculator off. It's fine. Uh, yeah, all good. No damage. I'm just going to move that glass just to one side, just in case I bash that as well. Right. <clears throat> Okie dokie. 
Yeah, it's good stress relief. Murdering NPCs. Arrows all out. Can I grab the quiver, please? Quiver. There we go. Get rid of that. Any other weapons that I can utilize? Oh, wait, she has a quiver. I'll grab that. Can I take that, please? Thank you. I'll take your bow. Whoop, no, no, I need that, please. Can I have your bow, please? What's the back? Might have to just physically grab it. Alright. Hello, Lulu. Are you being a good girl? Hello, darling. How are you? Are you okay? That work? There we go. Hello, sausage. How are you, my beautiful? Are you good? Are you my good girl? I love you very much, darling. Yes, I do. You're a very good girl. Oh, was that a burp? You just do a burp. You silly girl. Yes. Yes, I love you too. And I love you too. Yes. Were you grumbling at me? Give me a kiss. Mwah. For those who don't know, this is Lulu. She's a six-year-old French bulldog. And I'm very, very fond of her. She's extremely cuddly. When I work, she flops on my lap. When I'm sleeping, she's flopped on me, like under the duvet. When I wake up in the morning to go and brush my teeth, she takes the warm spot. She's like, mine now. Mine now. Yeesh. The game can't render Lulu? Oh no. Oh, you're not. Oh, sorry, you can't see this. Sorry, my mistake. Sorry, I thought you could see this. You can't see this? I've got the camera on Lulu. My bad. Sorry. So I've just been, what, cuddling the floor? <laughs> Sorry, I, th I thought you could see it. Hang on. I guess it's not showing it. Hang on. Hello, darling. I know. Sorry, they can't see you, honey. I thought they could. Ugh. My bad. I'll get her on the camera in a minute. Right. Well, anyway, she was on the sofa and she was just licking my hand as I was using the other controller to sort of rub her belly. Right. <laughs> Whoopsie. Didn't it show her last time? Like, it showed her on the camera last time. How peculiar. Right. Okay, a few more minutes and then I need to go get on with work today. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear it, Flatian. My condolences to you, Flatian. That sucks. Yeah, all the best to you, Flatian. Yeah, me too. Hmm. I do worry about her. She's getting on, isn't she? Hey, sausage. Is this the right way? Hang on. Oops. Where'd that arrow go? Never mind. Oh, it's the end. Okay, never mind. Right. The video lagged when I switched to the camera, but it never switched. Darn. That sucks. Okay. Right, what is the time? What sort of time am I dealing with? Um, it says 30 past midday. Um... A little bit robotic. I find that if I, if I move my legs at the same time, the motion sickness is reduced, but not entirely eliminated. Thank you, Box with a Hat and Fomare, and Embrace Your Power and Blood Raven. Sorry, Our Power. And Sponsed and Kent. Thank you, all of you. A um, few more minutes. Just a few more minutes. Right. Let's go to the... Haven't been to the market in ages. I wonder if they've... wonder if they've changed it at all. Right. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, you have an oldie mutt, says uh, Vera to put Vera to put. Uh, sixteen years old. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, good to hear it, Vera. All the best to your sixteen-year-old. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the dogs are lovely, aren't they? They're wonderful. 
Okay. Uh, mercenary, specials, endless mages, war zone. Um, let's do mercenary medium. Are the weapons still here? No, they removed them. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if you put stuff on the racks, does it appear automatically when you when you cycle to the next level? Oh, what have I got? Hang on. Oh, that's okay. So I still got the quiver. It's going to be confusing. Hang on, I dropped that. Didn't mean to do that. Whoa! <laughs> Friendly fire. Thank you. Oh, that did not work. Hang on, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Can you pick a magic and stick with it? Thank you. Right. <laughs> Seems to be pretty good at close range then. At long range, the fireballs are a bit hard to control. Right. <laughs> Little flicks. She's still alive? Probably not now. Whoa, she's still alive. God damn. Oh. <laughs> not for long, I guess. Is this yours? Here. Let me give it back to you. Is that yours or mine? Hang on. <laughs> Catch! Damn, only the one? They like their fire mages, don't they? Let's get it. Right. Oops, what have I got here then? Oh, I see, that's the one I had already. No, I need that. <laughs> Which one is mine? Who knows? What the fuck, how many? Give me. Oh, fine, get one in a minute. Right. What the hell? God damn. He stood up like nobody's business. Alright. Yeah, really hard to decapitate now. That's it. I got them all. Oh well. Cool. Right. One minute, so if I put stuff there, does it save when I move from map to map? Is that the idea? So hang on, let's go with a spear. Get a big old axe, but get uh, daggers, they're always good. How does it work? Can I put them here? More than one? Just the one. Right. Where'd the other one go? Hmm? Weird. Uh, swords, swords, swords. What's that say? Arrows. My headset's gone a bit foggy. War sword. Have I tried a war sword? Ooh, that looks fun. So I presume it saves if I just leave them there. Hmm. Good afternoon, Outlaw. Good afternoon indeed. Let's try this. Right. 
Let's go. Yeah, mercenaries, knights, bandits, bandits. Whoops. That's my health. I'm okay. I presume this is also two-hander? Right. Hello. Whoop. God damn it. What is it? Is this a slashing weapon or a stabbing weapon? Fuck. Jump, jump, jump. I don't know what sort of weapon this is. Oh, it's a I'm gonna get killed weapon. That's what it is. Bugger. Names, why do people here say hecky? Casanova tried to say hello and he fucked it up and now we're just taking the piss. Right. You okay, Lulu? Yeah, she's fine. Ah, how's life in the UK right now with all that's happening? Gonna be honest, pretty damn miserable. Yeah, everyone's, um, well, I don't know everyone, of course, it's generalizing, but I think everyone, lots of people here are very frightened. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty miserable. Oh, I didn't save, that's a shame. It's pretty bad. Uh, people are frightened about the winter, people are frightened about the war, people are frightened about the government. Everyone's very, very scared right about now. Right. Bandits. No, you don't. That doesn't decapitate? Don't even... I mean, I just smacked her full pelt with a longsword and it did nothing. You think that would, like, you know, I don't know. Second, let's try something else. Does this weapon move faster or? Let's go. Got to get right in the neck. That wasn't right in the neck. I mean, pardon me. Whoops. Fuck. Whoop. I'm gonna get killed. Damn it. Oh shit, I gotta get out of here. How's my health? Not too bad. My sword's over there. Thought it was an arrow, it's nothing. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Gimme. Not charged. <laughs> Had I skewered that, that would have been amazing. Cool. 
<sighs> How did I do that with the staff thing? So the new abilities that they've added to the staff, so you, you have the ability to ground slam with pretty much, I think, any spell now. So fire, let me just do a quick demonstration. So fire on the staff has a few things it can do. You can fling fireballs now with a press of the thumbstick, or you can spray fireballs everywhere, which apparently track onto targets. The lightning lets you press the thumbstick to make a sort of gravity whip that will decapitate if it hits in the right place, and also ground slam for a shock effect, which affects everybody, dropping their guard and their block. And the gravity ability, which just like before in the last major update, knocks stuff back, also now has the ability to manipulate objects. Like your, uh, what is it, like a, are they the Valar? What's the name of them? Like um, Saruman. So you can now fling stuff around like you're in Lord of the Rings. You're Saruman, basically. Even things that have high weight are weightless. They still hit like they're heavy, but for you, not so much. It's very cool. Right. Whoops. Uh, one second, I'm slightly injured. Oh yeah, and they float, they still float. Don't go, don't go anywhere. Touch my nipples, get a healing potion, which is also new. A sort of nipple inventory. So you can keep your healing potions there instead of where weapons live. Okay. Again. A few more minutes, a few more minutes. Little bastards. I'm hurt. I'm quite badly hurt. Hang on. Back away. Put it on my shoulder. Already used. Yeah, already got one. Drop that there. Backing away. Gravity, gravity, gravity. Give me gravity. Fuck. Can I only do it partially. Nipple inventory. Cork. Off. Off. Please drink. I'm oh, not that badly hurt. Have a drink. <laughs> Woo! Run this way. Oh, that's an arrow. Damn it. My staff. I told you to take the withered staff. Ouch. You know nothing of magic. Drink! Whoops. Mm -hmm. Shit, I need that. <laughs> Woo! Is this new? No, I've been up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that hurt! <laughs> That's smart. Just not get overconfident, otherwise they're gonna murder me. In the face hole. Where's my nipple? Oh shit! Was that the last potion? No, oh, I've got more, haven't I? There we go. Ooh, have a drink. Ah, uh, have a drink. I'm drinking, I'm drinking! Leave me alone! Yeah, uh, 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 quick! Oh god! Leave me alone! Piss off! Leave me alone! <laughs> you buggers! Fuck off! All of you, fuck off! Fuck, I'm in trouble. <laughs> slide down, slide down, slide down! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Climb up, climb up, climb up. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What am I gonna do? Uh, jump! Jump! Ah! <laughs> I need a weapon. Let's go this way. Woo! I have a weapon. Woo! Damn. 
<laughs> Crispy. Oh. Oh, another one behind me. Damn it. There's so many mages, what the fuck? Put that on my already used. Yeah. Go get a blade. What should I get? Let's have a look. Uh, get me a sword. Yeah, long sword. Where's a long sword? There's a go. Long sword. That'll do. Right. Whoop. Right. Here they come. <laughs> Get off. Oh. One behind me. Turn around and in your eye. Where's the other guy? Sorry, I didn't mean to stab you in the shins. Shins? Thighs? Run past him, pull it out as I go. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, not enough. I figured it would be. Fucking sweet. Does this burn you? No, guess not. Well, well, well. Wait, did her own staff get set off as she fell? You can do that? That was weird. Did you see that? Her own staff went off when she fell. Hmm. Right. So if it's all right, folks, I probably should bog off, to be honest. I've got plenty to do. Oopsie, sorry. I've got plenty to... What am I doing? Weird. So I need to go and keep editing today. Um, hang on. There we go. Uh, oh, don't fall down. Big meteor, big meteor, big meteor, and... Cool. Um, so yes, uh, what, I'm, what I'm doing today then, folks, I'm uh, recording some... Well, I've already recorded some audio for a potential video essay that I'd like to work on, and what I need to do this afternoon is start cutting it together. Well, I'm continuing cutting it together, so I've been doing it for a while, uh, for, for all of this week. Um, it's made of about 21 individual sections. One second, sorry. Uh, VR view. So it's made of about 21 individual sections, and I think I'm working on the tail end of section 6. So, hang on. There we go. So I'm working on the tail end of segment 6. Um, they're not all the same size, though. Some of the segments are huge, and some of the segments are teeny-weeny. So, uh... Yeah, just sort of cracking on. Right, there we go. There we go, there's the dog. This is what I was seeing before. Hey, cutie. So, yeah. So, thank you for watching, folks. Am I still doing the, the forest essay? For now, yes, Urban. I'm just going to crack on for a bit and um, try to deliver something. Try to give you something. Once again, thank you for your patience, everybody. I know that I'm not the most prolific YouTuber. Hello, darling. Yes. Are you okay? Sorry, did I disturb you? That's the please don't disturb me face. Yes, you good girl? You're a very good girl. Ah, oh dear. Right. Hi there, Zam. Hope you're okay, Zam. Yes, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. 
Who look at this belly? Fat belly full of food. Yes, you're a good cow. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Good cow. Mm. No. So you've got your comfy sofa. Yes, you do. You snorting. Yeah. Right. Cool. So thank you again, everyone. Um, so I'm just going to go get on with it and just stop this, uh, stop yakety yakketing. Yakety yakketing. All right, hang on. Oh, let's have a look. So who's streaming? Who's doing something that might be interesting to watch? One minute. Okay. Uh, hang on, how do I minimize the VR view? There we go. Uh, full, no, not full, so yeah, there we go. Close, okay, and then, ah, uh, fuck. I closed Chrome, one second. Boo, 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 boo. Right, there we go. So who's streaming now? Let's have a look. How do I minimize the VR view? There we go. Right. So SWAT Knight is just finishing the tail end of a 24-hour stream. Uh, Bavin is playing Power Wash Simulator. Um, in which case, let me hand you over to, I presume, an extremely tired ZF SWAT Knight. So, uh, yeah, he's just doing a 24-hour stream. I'm not sure if there's a specific reason for it. You can ask him, I guess. So this is ZF SWAT Knight. Um, thank you again. See you soon. And, um, yeah, take care, everybody.